Last week, our daughter of the King group began a series on doorway to prayer, where each of us comes forward and talks about our prayer practices. Today, I want to talk about my prayer practices that help me to get centered and help me to enter into the spirit of prayer. I have one of these minds that jumps around. My mind jumps from thing to thing to thing. Some would say that I have an anxious, restless, or whimsical mind, and sometimes, often, when I begin to pray, my mind not only wanders, it jumps and leaps. Throughout my life, I've engaged in prayer. My mother and my Sunday school teachers were the ones that introduced me to have pray, and my wandering, jumping, and leaping mind has always been a concern for me with prayer. Several years ago, I read this short story in the al Daily Reading Book, Courage to Change. I was walking in the woods one day, and I was surprised to hear a child's voice. I followed the sound, trying in vain to understand the child's words. When I spotted a little boy perched on a rock, I realized his words made no sense. He was repeating the alphabet. And I said, why are you saying your ABC so many times? The child replied, I'm saying my prayers. I couldn't help but laugh. Prayers? All I hear is the alphabet. Patiently, the child explained, well, I don't know all the words, so I give God the letters. And God knows what I'm trying to say. That reading changed how I see my prayers. Yes, there are many days when I can't get settled, but God knows what's in my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. God transformed so many things in the world, and God can transform my random thoughts and my feelings into prayers. With this comfort and grace, I accepted my prayer practices and thought about how I have prayed throughout my life. When I look back on my diaries from my preteen years, some entries began, Dear God, and then there were Dear Diary entries that became prayers. Today, I write to organize my thoughts, and many of my prayers come from my writing practice. As a child, and then in recent years, I've memorized prayers. The Lord's Prayer, the St. Francis Prayer, the Serenity Prayer, and all sorts of lessons. Because I memorize these prayers, they are always with me. The prayers that I memorize are with me when I'm going to sleep, anxious mind again while going to sleep, while I'm driving in storms, being called to the boss's office, and in MRI machines. When I, I'm not in MRI machines a lot, but when I am, prayers. Um, when, I found, when I came to the Episcopal Church, I found the beautiful prayers in the 1979 Book of Prayer, a Book of Common Prayer, and also the New Zealand Book of Prayer, and these prayers are absolutely exquisite to me. And often when I pray, I start with doing three deep breaths to center myself. Prayer can be a centering word or phrase. Your will be done is one that I utilize the most. Or sometimes I'll say, I bring my friend to you. I bring Billy Bob to you. Your will be done. Today I'm grateful for your will be done. Is that more? Or I really messed up today. Your will be done. I warned this person who needed help. I am sorry. Your will be done. And as we're approaching the Lenten season, I'm very glad I had this opportunity to think about and write about and also talk to you about these practices in my life and my life with God. And since we're talking about prayer, I want to end with a poem about prayer from Mary Oliver. And I'll have copy, we'll have copies in the parish hall. I Happen to Be Standing by Mary Oliver. I don't know where prayers go or what they do. Do cats pray while they sleep in the sun? Does a possum pray as the, as the possum crosses the street? The sunflowers? The old black oak growing older every year? I know I can walk through the world along the shore or under the trees 
with my mind filled with things of little importance and full self-attendance, a condition I can't really call being alive. Is prayer a gift or a petition or does it matter? The sunflowers blaze, maybe that's their way. Maybe the cats are sound asleep, maybe not. While I was thinking, this happened to me standing just outside my door. While, this, while I was thinking about this, I happened to be standing just outside my door with my notebook open, which is the way I began every morning. Then when the cricket began to sing, he was positively drenched in enthusiasm. I don't know why. And yet, why not? I wouldn't persuade you from whatever you believe or whatever you don't believe. That is your business, what you believe. But I thought of the wren singing, what could this be if it isn't a prayer? So I just listened with my pen in the air.